Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another home decor haul for you. I know how much you guys love seeing everything that I buy to put in my home. And I always get questions of where things are from. So I have a few previous home decor hauls if you wanted to check them out as well. But don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get into the haul. First off, I'm gonna show you this little bird. Now I picked this one up from Maya and it was actually on clearance for $10, $9 I think. Normal price $16.95. I just thought it was really cute and it went with the color theme of what we're going for. It's kind of a bit like an abstract bird but once having it in the home, I'm not too sold on the fact that it goes with the house decor. Probably a little bit more modern than what I'm after but um, I still have him around because I like him. I also picked up this paperweight type of thing from Myra as well. This one was $7.95 but I think it had some money off like maybe 30% or something and like the other one like I'm not sure it goes with what I'm after but I just needed some little black pieces to put a bit of pop of black in places when styling so yeah I haven't actually found a place for this one yet but I haven't finished styling the home so there's plenty more time I picked up this cute little bunny this one's from freedom actually I have like a little mini one like this size and I wanted to get a bigger one the little ones just there but the other little one was from spotlight so these are around in places but yeah you can definitely pick up these grass bunnies from heaps of places I picked up this little candle holder thing I, I don't know what to call it candle holder thing <laughs> that'll do right this is from spotlight it was a uh, twenty dollars or is it the price on it no it doesn't and i've just popped an ikea vanilla candle in there which fit perfectly the only thing that i really don't like about it is that it's wonky and i didn't notice that in the store but it's actually pretty wonky. Um, but I got it for the chrome finish and I just think it looks nice and elegant and it was actually a really good price. Sometimes these can be really expensive. I guess you know that's why it's wonky. <laughs> I picked up this plant from Spotlight. This was under $10. It's a really good size and I haven't found a pot for it yet. So yet to find a pot, but um, of course it's a fake plant. I like the big leaves. It doesn't have like wiry stem so you can't really move it uh, but I just thought it was a really good size and a bit of greenery around the place. Yes I buy fake plants I can't keep real ones live. <laughs> also from Spotlight I got this little and symbol again a bit of chrome never hurt anyone. <laughs> this one I think it was under actually this one I think was a bit pricey it was $20 but it had 30% off or something like that for what it is I thought it was a bit pricey. It's really important when styling to have pieces that are of all sizes. For example, like you need, I usually like to style with three pieces. So here's a small one. This is a medium to large one, depending on something, What if you have something in the middle, perhaps the bunny could go in the middle for the medium size thing. It's really important to layer your styling. I found it anyway, so, so that's a little tip for you. <laughs> okay, so from Kmart, I picked up this now. My husband chose this for his bedside ornament and I put it there and it just wasn't the right size. It was like too small and I kind of regret buying it, but hopefully I can find a place for it down the track. I'm also not sure about the geometrical style. A lot of other things that I have, like this doesn't fit in, um, apart from the fact that it's green and white. So I'm sure I can put it somewhere, just haven't figured that out yet. I think that it was around $7, I think. This is my absolute favorite piece that I'm gonna show you today. I am so in love with this. I have this sitting on my coffee table. This little duo is from Early Settler. So I got the vase, which was on sale. I think it was around $17. And then the this is two sets of Peenies, and they just look so soft and fluffy and gorgeous. They were, I think, $12 each. So um, I think, I'm thinking I might get another thing of peonies just to make it look a little bit more full. I don't know, but I love this. It goes with my color theme perfectly. A bit of pink, a bit of white. It looks so beautiful and oh! Okay, so I'm gonna go through some furniture that I have recently bought. I like to include this just to give you guys ideas and see how everything works together as well. So I wanna go over what I've picked out for the lounge room. We have two couches, they are from Freedom. They're the Marley couch in a gray. 
I don't know, I think it came in a, a darker grey, I'm not too sure. We have an Eastport coffee table and an Eastport side table and they're just white, they look, they have a very Hamptons feel to them and they are just, oh, everything. <laughs> so this furniture actually took over six months to arrive. It was really disappointing that we were told it would take five weeks and neck a minute. <laughs> six months later. But we did recently order another side table for the other side of the couch and that did come fairly quickly, like within a month, I think. So I don't know, I guess we ordered it at the worst time of year, maybe. The couches themselves, I feel, aren't the greatest quality. So do keep that in mind. They look really, really nice, but I don't feel like they're going to hold up that well. The fabric pulls so easy. It also pills where you sit on it. So keep that in mind, but the coffee table, side table, so happy with, they look awesome. In this room, we also have a rug. Now this one was from Spotlight and I think I got it for like, was it 50 bucks? I think I paid 50 bucks for it. And it was on like a clearance, so make sure you keep an eye out for their clearance. Or even they often have like 40 or 50% off rugs. And I just got this beautiful white shaggy rug. I didn't intend to put it in this room, but I really love it in this room. I think it looks gorgeous. Also in this room, we have an ottoman. Now I actually picked this one up to go in the, in the dressing room, but it would have been too big for the space. So I've put it in this room up against the window with the shutters and it looks really nice. The only thing that I don't like about it is it's quite beige and I wish it were a grey but I like it sitting there and um, it was from eBay. It was like 80 or 90 dollars I think. It was so affordable. So if anything I might um, sell that one and then get a grey one just to replace it. So then it kind of fits in with the area. <laughs> I actually picked up two sitting chairs from eBay. Now they're both the matching. They came together and I think that they're around $150 for both of them. They aren't the best quality which is what you're gonna get. They're called the K's dining chair. I have one sitting in the front room where I have my glass desk, which you would have seen in the last haul. I also have one in our dressing room where um, there's a makeup station or table, you know, and it goes with that as well. So they're a really big bug and they look really nice, um, but yeah, just not the best quality, but it's okay. <laughs> also in our bedroom, if you're a Kmart addict, you'll know this product. <laughs> you would have seen it in our bedroom, makeover. I picked up a $15 black table, side table from Kmart and it actually fits in really well with the room and I do love it. Now I don't know if they still have these mirrors at Spotlight but we picked up these mirrors. They were on a massive sale. They were $10 each and my plan is to put them side by side up on the wall in the front room which is like living slash study. I haven't actually done it yet but they are quite heavy so keep that in mind um, if they do still have them. But I thought that for 20 bucks up on the wall, they'll look really nice together. Okay, so next up I have this duo, which is kind of the opposite of the other one. Um, you would have seen this in my main channel videos. I have it in my background. So the vase is very similar to the other one. It's the same kind of, same kind of shape as the one from Early Settler, but it's from Spotlight. And I picked it up for around $20. It just has like a little pattern on it, love it. And then I picked up these flowers, which are actually three posies. They were $5 each from the reject shop, but when they scanned up, they scanned up as like buy two, get one free. So it was $10 for all of these flowers. <laughs> I was a little bit blown away, um, but I feel like that is a good duo. I wish that they were a little bit lighter, like a little bit less hot pink, but I still think that they look really, really nice. And lastly, another vase from Spotlight. <laughs> I picked this one up ages ago and I actually forgot about it, but it is so cute. I pulled it out and I'm like, oh my God, this is gorgeous. It has the most gorgeous little imprints on it and it looks so pretty. I'll have to find some flowers to pop in it. This one was about $10, which is super affordable. Um, so definitely check out Spotlight for home decor. Like, I think that they've really stepped up their game and I am a big fan. <laughs> I know on the weekend they usually have super sales, like ridiculous, like everything's like 20, 30, 40% off. And you know what, they've got so many good looking Christmas decor things. I cannot wait to deck this house out in Christmas themed things. I think I'll go like a rose gold color. I don't know, I think, like I, I really think I will. <laughs>
<laughs> so that is my most recent home decor haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to check out my other home decor videos. I'll leave a playlist linked down below. Yeah, I'd love to know where you shop for your home decor. Um, I typically love Adair's Spotlight, Target, Kmart, and um, like Early Settler have some great pieces as well. I hope you're having a really lovely day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye. Bye.